Dolby Atmos is an exciting new technology that provides immersive sound. It draws theatergoers into the action without needing 3D glasses. Harrison has been entrenched as the leader in film mixing since the first PP1 film console was installed at Disney in 1979. Our newest large format console, the MPC5, implements a series of new features that are optimized for object-based mixing and the Atmos workflow. Depending on the project, it is sometimes necessary to print stems of the Dolby Atmos object tracks. For example, after a pre-dub, you may have to edit the Atmos tracks to conform to a picture change. By printing the tracks to a Pro Tools recorder, including the panning metadata, you can conform them in a room outside of the dub stage. These tracks should be separated into suitable stems such as dialogue, music, and effects. The editors need to know which tracks are assigned to each stem. To make this easy, we have implemented a feature called Food Groups. Harrison consoles provide a conforming tool, which can be used to edit our internal panning metadata to match picture cuts. This is the preferred method of working, because by keeping the automation in the console, it can be reused for other format mixes such as 5.1, 7.1, or RO3D. But some workflows require that you take sessions out of the dub stage for additional editing. In this case, you'll still want the panning data to be returned to the console once you come back to the dub stage, so we've accommodated that as well. Let's demonstrate the transfer of panning metadata from the console into Pro Tools and vice versa. In Pro Tools, click the record button on any of the Atmos plugins. This will arm all of the Atmos plugins and ready them to record moves from the console. When you record the audio tracks into Pro Tools, the Atmos automation data will also be recorded from the console into Pro Tools automation. From here, the audio and automation can be edited, consolidated, and conformed like any Pro Tools track. When you return to the dub stage, you will want to record the panning information back into console automation so that you can continue to mix with the console facilities. To do so, navigate to the console's Atmos overview page and click the record button. When you roll the transport, the Atmos panning moves will be written into console automation. This provides some interesting workflow ideas, as it is now possible to transfer the console's panning into the Pro Tools Dolby Atmos plugin and vice versa. This means that a movie that was mixed in Atmos can be recorded into the Harrison console automation, and the same panning information can be used to remix the tracks into 5.1, 7.1, or RO3D, whether the original mix was done on the Harrison console or not. As with any new technology, Atmos provides some amazing benefits, but it also introduces a new set of challenges. Because Harrison focuses on film and post-production, we are always on top of the newest technologies at the dub stage. Watch our upcoming video to see how a Harrison console allows you to move elegantly between Atmos, RO3D, and traditional surround mix formats.